know, I'm not a weatherman, but through the b b barometric pressure of the system itself, it'll kick on. You can see the adhesive that they sprayed on this. Yeah, the light's gonna have to be moved. This thing is so powerful that it almost sucked my underwear and my hot dog into the fan. And I'll tell you what, after you see these fans operate, it would have been, I, it would have been a life change. I mean, I, before, because they tell you not to. I'm definitely going to move that around so that's not sitting on all that electrical. Okay, so uh, what I've decided to do is since I actually have a electrical problem here at the house, um, it's not really a problem, it's just about a $10,000 issue because I only have a 60, uh, six, I, I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, the drop to my house is only 60, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's 60 to go to 200, costs $10,000. I was wanting to put heat and air conditioning in this garage, it's not an option. Um, and since I have uh, rebuilt the garage, putting fans on the wall or, or anything of that sort is not an option. So I had put this drop ceiling into the ceiling and the only thing I could think of is to actually get air vents like in a commercial building. And I was looking at those inline blower systems that people use to, basically if your house, if you have a real big house and your air conditioning or your heat isn't getting all the way to the past uh, a certain point, you install them in your duct work and then, you know, I'm not a weatherman, but through the b b barometric pressure of the system itself, it'll kick on and it'll boost the HVAC system uh, to go down the trunk line or uh, the inline duct, whatever, I don't know. But uh, so basically the only thing I could come up with was to try and get one of these uh, weed ventilation fans. You know, that's pretty much what they're for. They're for growing dope. Um, and what I have is this is an eight inch dryer vent line that I got off of Amazon. Um, it's actually, there's supposed to be four coatings on this. I've already put this up on one of them. And this is actually really thick. I'm not worried about temperature and stuff like that. And then I also, we're going to have to go through some wood. So I got an eight inch uh, drill bit piece also, which wasn't cheap. And when you, and when you uh, buy the dryer vent line, you actually get two of these hose clamps and which that's a benefit because these hose clamps are run you anywhere from $5 to $10 for those. But the actual blower itself is a eye power. It's a eye power eight inch fan, and I think the RPM that it blew that it runs is twenty six hundred uh, RPM, which is pretty high RPM. I don't know what the CFM is. Um, I've already got one hooked up, and they're gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this other one. But this is. There's your instructions. This is not a review of this fan, uh, tutorial of this fan. We're just gonna hook this fan up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, wasn't real sure I was gonna make this video because I've been such in a crunch to get this garage done. And that's pretty much it. It looks like a pro charger, uh, supercharger for a Chevy big block engine is what it looks like. And it's just got two mounting holes, so it'll have to be mounted. And I'll go ahead and run this here and show you how it's going to work. It's basically going to suck in this side and then blow out this side. Just forget the weed smell out of your house because you're 50 years old and you still live with your parents. Okay, one thing here before we get started is uh, this duct work was cheaper for the longer version. And you can cut this. The 16 foot was actually cheaper on Amazon than the 10 foot, just to let you know. Okay, uh, one other thing. I opened this blower in my house that got delivered before I went to work and before I showered and cleaned myself up for the day. I unboxed this and plugged this in. Do not operate this fan without pants on. Um, when I bent over and plugged this into the wall, I had nothing but my, my boxer shorts on because I don't wear whitey tighties. I let it hang. And... This thing is so powerful that it almost sucked my underwear and my hot dog into the fan. And I'll tell you what, after you see these fans operate, it would have been, I, it would have been a life change. I mean, I probably would have shot myself in the head after that. But uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to plug this in here so I can demonstrate to you how it'll work. And I will get the 
This is a neat little power strip deal that I put in. Hell, I'll put links below. You can cut this, put this in a tabletop, anything that you want. Um, these do, this does not have a switch. As soon as you plug it in, it's going to run. And I will move the camera and show you this and plug it in. Now, noise is actually might be an issue here because I actually shoot these YouTube videos in the garage. So there is a carbon element filter that can go on these, and I'm actually going to purchase one. But what you have is you have your intake side and your exhaust side. And I wasn't real sure that this was going to work for my application here, but I'm pretty sure it will. And we'll just plug this in here. And it's just gonna it's just gonna pull air. It, it's actually really powerful. I, it was more powerful than I thought it was. It, you can just imagine getting something sucked up in there, and it just it's just ventilating the uh, the air. And then it and then it's look at that look at the power of that. Oh man! And it's just uh it's just blowing out this side so that it's going to give me airflow in the uh in the garage so we'll start to get this hooked up here it's really easy installation okay and as you can see there's a lot of wires up there so i'm gonna attempt to get my eight inch hole drilled and i stuck a screwdriver through this hole up here this is gonna be hard to see so Hopefully I get it the first time here, but it's going to interfere with the other blower motor that's plugged in up here. Oh, there's so many wires. And it needs to be underneath of that. Oh my God, I don't have a battery for the drill. There we go. I just put that down. I think I'm going to try to do this one-handed. This is a big I mean, I didn't realize this. Oh, I'm so ready to get this garage. supposed to be another piece on that that tool Pretty sure that was supposed to have another piece on this tool okay so we got our eight inch hole and i'll probably mount that blower here i might mount that blower here on the left side not real sure yet oh, knock my ceiling tile down that's all right so i got that perfect right where i wanted it and then We'll just run our line to our air vent here. And actually, the instructions for this dryer vent does not tell you to extend this out. They want you to put this, install this on the vent first, then try to pull it out. But realizing after I did the other one that it was a pain in the butt, and there's actually a little bit of adhesive on this, on this vent piece. 
So I'm just going to pull this 16 foot out. You can actually, if I get close here, you can see the adhesive that they sprayed on this. See that? There's just a little bit. And I'm just going to stretch it out and coil it back so it's going to be easier for me to uh, expand it out as I go. I'm not sure why they did that. Uh, there's definitely a reason why that that adhesive is on this. This is a very thick um, tube. to uh, clean air ducts for Stanley steamer messing with these all these HVAC stuff okay a little more pliable now uh, once I'm done hooking this up I'll bring the camera up I just can't get the camera in up here uh, for where I need it but I'll show you when we're done this stuff's really easy to install just make sure you have the right pipe size pipe we're just going to extend it out and get our clamp and then put our clamp over the vent here we're going to put the clamp over first so we can So what we've done I've done is that we go ahead and put your clamp over first and then we put the uh, piping on the flange here for the ceiling I'll go ahead and do that now and now that the piping is into the ductwork we're just going to tighten that clamp up and now we have our clamp tightened up on there and so we'll go ahead and pull the rest of the piping to where the unit's going to be mounted going to move this pipe and now you'll understand why I extended this out before because they tell you not to until you hook it all up but it's going to make this a lot easier because otherwise you'd be fighting that glue and I'm still fighting the glue a little bit but it's not that bad sure I'm still hooked up okay still hooked up go ahead and pull it all the way through I don't know if the, what this adhesive is. Man, why they put that on there? I, I've never seen a dryer vent. I've never seen H duct work with that adhesive on there like that. Oh my God! I should have went to like a eight and a half inch hole. Oh my God! That's going to be tight. I never even thought about that. I mean, that's going to be so tight coming through there. Oh, I should have bought the eight and a half inch uh, hole saw. Nah, we're going to be okay. It's just really tight. This, this duct works actually pretty high quality. If this was just a, a cheap old dryer vent, it probably would have ripped all this already. And trust me, I put a few of them in too.
to mount that on this side, but this side will be fine. We'll just mount that to right there on that side. So now I'm going to test fit where I want this. And I think we're going to go on this right here. I'll probably have to move the light. Oh, this thing's heavy. Yeah, the light's going to have to be moved. It's going to fall. Ugh. Put this right up here. I think that'll work. Okay, well we got those in, now we'll just connect our pipe back. Okay, so basically we have our bolts now in that are going to hold our fan while it spins. And we'll go ahead and hook this duck up to the exit of the fan. What, we'll do, what you want to do with the strap is basically put it over the, uh, the duck work. And then if you have to tighten it up just a little bit, just to save you some, some screw in here. Oh, this is a mess. This is all the stuff that needs to be done first when you build up, build something. Okay. So we've got we've got all of our lines hooked up and then I'm just going to plug this puppy in. A little more work than what I wanted than I thought it was going to be. official test I've got two of these hooked up we'll see if they uh, both work here I think it's this one and throw a breaker oh wow okay so the, the, the hose is expanding so far well, I'm definitely going to move that around so that's not sitting on all that electrical. You can see the other one up top of there. I have to take my gloves off. Oh yeah, you can feel it. This definitely will, will give me some airflow and it's actually going to pull 
the uh, it's going to pull the the hot air from the top and circulate it back down. Not super powerful, but for what I need them for, and not paying ten thousand dollars for the for upgrading electrical, that'll work. So. They did say that the carbon filters will quiet them down, but it'll restrict the airflow. And I'm not for sure if that noise is going to be a problem or not. So, cool. They don't shake or anything. Awesome. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. More videos to come. And hopefully the garage will be done soon.